All right, good morning. What is going on? I also killed my drywall cutter. All right, I'm taking my Makita drywall cutter to the hospital, the Trade Tools Hospital. Look guys, this is what we're dealing with here. I'm at my local Trade Tools store and I'm looking at picking up a compound drop saw. I'm looking for a small one so we can fit in here. This is my current one. It does all right. Actually, no, it doesn't. It does not all right. And that's why I'm replacing it today. But also while I'm here, I'm looking for my drywall cutter is in this box right here. Excuse the mess, everyone. And there's a couple of things wrong with this. The part where you change the blade, the Allen key is threaded and she's blowing smoke let me show you ready oh she's working today not looking good Yeah. And that'll pull the aluminium shavings through. Yeah. And then because your motor's hot, they'll all stick to the combine and yep. it cools down and sets them. That sounds about right. Also with this, um, the um, Allen key, mm -hmm. uh, where you change the blade, mm -hmm. it's stripped one of the bolts. That's fine. So I can't... That's uh, fine. Yeah. But it is the same, eh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that piece fell off. I couldn't remember how it went back yeah, on. That's just a how are you? Yeah. Such a good tool, man. Yeah, it's nice, eh? Yeah. So that's a blade cover, all right. Out, yeah, right. yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, gotcha. Didn't know that. Thank you. Yeah, back for a second. Yeah. Like that, the flat end. Yeah. Slides in like that, and it'll clip in there. Okay. Thanks. Learn something new every day. Something every day. Looking for something small, Makita, cordless, something that's going to lift my Mitre game. Oh, there's a couple of options. Um, light and compact, you've got the, the DLS 714. Uh, runs on twin batteries, so you get extra power at the same time. Um, you've got your larger uh, range of, of slide, so you can do your larger, if you've got larger um, kick panels or architraving work or something you want to do. Yep. Uh, all slides in. Yep. Um, pretty versatile. Um, back fence, you can move the extras out and get right over to your. Um, uh, fix your mitres, your compounds over there. Um, easy lock-in positionings. Yeah. Uh, they're really easy to um, do fine adjustments and recalibrations if you need to. Yeah, just uh, extra front support. Uh, extra front, front support, the front foot. Um, so just wind stand. If you've got it set on a um, board, you can just wind that down. Yeah. And get that extra support. So if you've got a larger piece of timber, it doesn't weight it down on the front. But this is good, man. Get them, we'll get them all looking good, but yeah, it's a, it's a good, good bit of saw. Yeah. Um, they're based off the old 
240 volt 714 that's been around a long time. The old, the old um, this one. style one. They just yeah. modified it for the battery platform. Yeah. The same style handle, same range of motion. Quality slides. Yeah. It's pretty much guaranteed it's going to do me a better miter than what I've got now. And for calibrating, um, does it come with anything that can help with that? Uh, yes, yeah, so in the box, it's got the little triangle, calibration triangle there. Yep. So you bring the blade down, put the triangle on the side there, and you can check your back fence uh, yep. as well as uh, your compounds. Yep, okay. Let's get you kitted up, eh? Yep, thank you. Like I said, these two different Makita and Milwaukee definitely two most prominent sellers. Um, obviously, Makita with a large range of tools. They've got like over 20 tools. Um, yeah. Um, Milwaukee definitely pushing forward, uh, continuously releasing all their hand tools, consumables. Uh, like all your drill bit screw tips, um, they're launching their new range of safety gear. Um, there's heaps of stuff coming through. Both brands are really pushing hard with their um, consumables and, and hand tools and that sort of like that. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, definitely exploding. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the new range of the packout gear has been pretty exciting. So. Yeah. Yeah, like I said before, I wanted the, um, the drawers for my van. Yeah, we've got a lot of guys pre-ordering those uh, those drawers. Yeah, which would be good. So that they look they look quite good. Yeah, they I, do. I think the three drawer one's going to be popular. Yeah. They've got, they've got three and a two drawer listed, but I think the yeah. three drawer is going to be the most popular. It makes sense because having to undo everything to try and get to a tool, I just don't know. Yeah, it makes it makes it heaps easier. Yeah. For you, grab the skin. Is there like shortages of tools at the moment? Uh, yeah, look, I can't get the, uh, can't it's, get the it hasn't been too bad as of late, it's been a sought after yeah. um, sort of particular brand at the moment too, and they've had a little bit of a struggle getting some tool supply in on their, on their skins and tools, but they're starting to flow through now, yeah. more and more as the year progresses. Yeah. Um, morphe has been pretty good, dewalt has been pretty good, they've all had their, their shortfalls. Um, just been a, a massive increase in demand, Yeah. Um, and then as well as also um, limited shipping available to yeah. from manufacturers. So yeah. It has been a little bit difficult getting stock, managing the right amount of stock. You would have thought it would have got quieter, but no, hey. No, it's gotten heaps busier. Um, there's a lot of um, a lot of renovation and um, home improvement and stuff happening at the moment. Yeah, so it's super easy to do. So sometimes like you might hit a, um, particularly guys if they're cutting like um, aluminium extrusion or something like that, um, they get a jam and it can knock the fence. Um, you've got easy adjustment on the back. There we go. Done. All right, away, so slide that up. Thank you. So if you look down in here, you've got an Allen key, Allen key screw there. Yep. And then matching one on the other side here. Yep. You loosen those off with your onboard tool. You just nip that back a little bit, nip that one off, mm -hmm. uh, and then use your square. Let's do it now so I don't have to do it later, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, should, yeah. should we go straight out of the box? So see how it's nice yep. and flush yep. along the front there? Mm -hmm. um, so you just look at hey, it. Hey, you haven't got a mask, Undo that one there. Undo that one there. Make sure it's all squared up. Yep. Um, so you can lock it down in this lock position. Little button over here. Oh yeah, so you don't have to keep so holding. Locked down, so you yep. can you hold the pressure on it. Yep. Uh, and then and then line it up. Make sure it's straight on the 90 yep. degree there. And that's when you know everything's locked in. Then you do your two screws up and lock it down. Right. Um, so if you ever worry or you want to check it. Yeah. Um, just grab, just, just do grab that. that. Or you can use your square if you have a square. I might get one. It's a bit easier. The older models have just got different bolts in different spots, but they all have those two adjustment bolts yep. on that outer side there. Some have got four, depending on how wide the back fence is. Yep. I like this because it's easy to transport as well. Yeah. Much easier to perfect. fit in the van, mate. Yeah. So 163.90 all up, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, there. I'll do that. 
And again, so that, so that, these don't slide in and out, so you've got to undo that little yep. support touch there. I don't need them on now anyway, yeah. but yeah, I see Probably what you mean. And then that slides in and out depending on what yep. you want to do, and then you can transfer that out if you want to clean further out just a little bit. Perfect. Perfect. Like that, mate, you are done. The larger bits of material you, you're, you're cutting, um, you're definitely worth um, keeping the saw nice and stable. There's nothing worse than the saw moving mid-cut, yep. and then you've got to scrap a piece of material and start again. Yep. All right, all your bits, your new saw, and you are ready to go. No worries, 45. Oh, she's a bit, she's a bit heavier than my um. My Otherwise, these smaller uh, ones because they got quite. It's probably an uh, increase in quality. You notice yeah. there from 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 the other ones. Yeah. Yeah, it's compact when you. It's pretty small when you get it down there. Looking a bit shit at the moment. Thank you. Yeah, that's the one that replaces there. But it fits nicely and, and everything like that. In the same spot then? Yeah, it will. Perfect. Are you going to look stand here? I'll just chuck it down there, mate. Thank you. Perfect. That bit's in there, that's in there, they're in there, the extra bits are there. That's all it. It's all yours. Thanks, Michael. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Yep. Make sure you register online. Yep. Increases your warranty from three to six years. I'll do that. I've never done it. You haven't done it before. So <laughs> you on website? No, I, I know how to do it. Yeah. Oh, okay, I yeah. know how to do it, but um, I just get lazy, you know. Yeah, yeah. And they only started doing it since um, uh, since July last year. Have they? Yeah. So jump on their website, create a My Makita account. Yeah. And then you can register all your tools and keep track of all your warranties, and everything. For you. It shows little pictures of the tools, serial numbers, the whole lot. Perfect. All right. Really good. Awesome. Thanks nice again. To meet you, Max. Yeah, you too. Cheers.